In the opening scene of the movie, a bustling jungle comes to life as its inhabitants go about their daily routines, enjoying the tranquility of their surroundings. Suddenly, a distant explosion grabs their attention, signaling trouble on the horizon. Emerging from the chaos is Igor, a menacing koala with sinister intentions. Igor wastes no time wreaking havoc with his mushroom explosives, causing panic and destruction throughout the jungle. But standing in his way are a group of fearless heroes dedicated to preserving peace and safety. Among them are Ricky the Porcupine, Tony the Sloth, Natasha the Tiger, and Goliath the Rhinoceros. Together, the brave team springs into action, using their unique abilities to thwart Igor's plans and protect their fellow jungle dwellers. Despite their efforts, Igor manages to slip away, escaping in his ship and leaving behind a trail of chaos and uncertainty. As he stumbles through the snow, Igor collides with a snowbank, jolting him to a halt as an egg tumbles onto him, bringing him ashore. Desperate for assistance, he clings to the egg, hoping it will aid his escape. Suddenly, a bird swoops down and snatches the egg away from him. Tony takes aim at the egg, causing it to become lodged in a nearby tree. Left stranded in a desolate area surrounded by water, Igor reveals his nefarious plan to Natasha. Unbeknownst to the others, while in the jungle, Igor had planted explosives everywhere, setting off a catastrophic chain reaction of explosions. Witnessing the devastation, Natasha abandons Igor and rushes back to the jungle, now ablaze with fire from the explosives. Despite the chaos, Natasha's companions rally together to save the animals, ensuring their safety amidst the raging inferno. As Ricky bravely rescues baby animals from the raging fire, he spots the same egg nestled in the tree. Despite the intense heat and difficulty, he manages to save both the babies and the egg. Tragically, while in the midst of his heroic efforts, Ricky succumbs to the flames. Meanwhile, Igor devises a plan to escape the island. Planting a seed in the ground, he anticipates that it will eventually grow into a plant sturdy enough to fashion into a raft, allowing him to reach the opposite shore. As the fire consumes the entire forest, Ricky's friends mourn his courageous sacrifice. In a poignant twist, a baby penguin hatches from the rescued egg, a symbol of hope emerging from the ashes of tragedy. Natasha lovingly raises the baby penguin as her own, naming him Maurice. As time passes, Maurice grows into a fine young penguin, sporting stripes just like his adoptive mother. Meanwhile, the tree planted by Eager flourishes and grows tall. One day, Maurice decides he wants to follow in his mother's heroic footsteps. Despite Natasha's concerns for his safety, Maurice remains steadfast in his determination. This leads to a heartfelt debate between them, but ultimately, Maurice bids farewell to his loved ones and sets off on his journey to become a hero. Over time, Maurice builds a team of like-minded individuals, including Miguel, Gilbert, Patricia, and his loyal pet, Junior. Together, they embark on a mission to liberate elephants enslaved by a group of baboons, who exploit them for labor. Together, they devise a plan with Maurice at the helm, leading the charge against the baboons. With strategic maneuvers, they defeat the baboons and impart a valuable lesson. Their mission is a resounding success. Meanwhile, months later, Igor constructs a raft from the now fully grown tree and reaches the shore, accompanied by his crab companion, Suri. Back in the jungle, Maurice and his team reunite with their old friends, Al and Bob. Suddenly, they spot a fire in the distance, part of Igor's scheme to seek revenge on Natasha and her allies. Acting swiftly, Maurice and his companions arrive just in time on a flying carrier to extinguish the flames. Igor's plans are thwarted, much to his dismay, as he had intended to exact revenge on Natasha and her companions. Discovering Morris's strong bond with Natasha, Igor cunningly traps Maurice and his friends using a device originally intended for Natasha and her companions. With them ensnared, he activates an explosive nearby, intending to leave them to their demise. However, Al and Bob arrive in the nick of time, enabling the group to escape the impending explosion. Meanwhile, Maurice rushes to inform Natasha about Igor's return. On the other side of the forest, Igor observes the baboon army, aware of their concern over Morris's protection of the village. They understand that as long as Maurice remains vigilant, they cannot impose slavery on other animals. Aware of this, Igor schemes to manipulate the baboon army into turning against Maurice and Natasha's team. Meanwhile, Maurice reunites with Natasha and her companions, bringing his friends along. Natasha is overjoyed to see her son after such a long time. 
Maurice informs them about the vengeful individual who seeks retribution against them. Curious about Igor's backstory, Maurice asks Natasha to shed light on the matter. Natasha explains that Igor is a deranged koala who once sought to join their team. However, they deemed him unworthy and rejected his request. In his quest for revenge, Igor developed explosive mushrooms, hoping to gain acceptance. When his efforts were rebuffed once again, he spiraled into madness, harboring a desire to destroy the jungle ever since. Determined to confront him, Natasha and her friends prepared to face Igor. Meanwhile, Igor, now joined by the Baboon army, reveals his sinister plan to them. He explains that the cave they are in is a vast underground rift, stretching throughout the jungle. His goal is to detonate explosives at the rift's center, annihilating the entire jungle and its inhabitants. As Igor sets his plan in motion, he also seeks revenge against Natasha and her companions. Meanwhile, the jungle's inhabitants tremble in fear at Igor's return. Natasha and her team stand with them, offering support and protection. Soon, Maurice arrives with his companions, eager to confront Igor alongside Natasha and the others. Despite Morris's determination, Natasha hesitates to put his life in danger. Concerned for their safety, Natasha advises Maurice and his companions to stay clear of the impending danger. Suddenly, the group hears the unmistakable sound of an explosion, prompting them to rush towards the source. To ensure Maurice and his team's safety, Goliath destroys the bridge leading to the other side, preventing them from joining the fray. Meanwhile, Igor lies in wait, anticipating their arrival. When Natasha and her allies confront him, Igor springs into action, attacking them with his mushroom foam using a jetpack. However, Tony outweets him, trapping him in the foam. With Igor subdued, the team springs into action. Goliath works to open the entrance while Tony faces off against the baboons. As everything progresses smoothly, Maurice grows concerned about his mother's safety and decides to intervene. Using a nearby tree for support, he attempts to reach them. Just as he's about to lose his grip, Tony swoops in to catch him. However, as Tony's grip begins to slip, Patricia rushes to their aid, setting off a chain of rescue efforts among the group. In the midst of the chaos, Suri seizes the opportunity to hurl a mushroom explosive, causing them all to plummet into a canyon below. With Suri's help, Igor breaks free from captivity, taking Morris's pet, Junior, with him. Morris's friends soon arrive on the scene, furious at Maurice for his recklessness, as his interference allowed Igor to escape capture. Maurice finally realizes his mistake. Following the incident, Natasha and her friends set out to pursue Igor, but this time, Maurice decides to stay behind. Feeling defeated, he wanders off alone, leaving his friends behind. As he walks, the rain washes away the stripes on his fur. Meanwhile, Natasha and her companions unknowingly walk into Igor's trap and find themselves locked in a cage. Although Igor possesses the key to their freedom, he callously abandons them to focus on his plan to enslave the jungle's inhabitants for his destructive agenda. Back at the jungle, Maurice grapples with disappointment and loneliness. He longs for his companion, Junior, and reminisces about the day they first met. Following Igor's scheme, he requires numerous mushroom explosives to obliterate the jungle entirely. To gather these explosives, he enslaves the jungle animals, with his baboon army standing guard over them. Meanwhile, Junior devises a cunning plan and skillfully navigates from one tub to another, ultimately escaping and making his way to Maurice. Overjoyed to see his friend, Maurice learns from Junior that Igor has imprisoned his mother and her companions. Determined to rescue them from Igor's clutches, Maurice renews his resolve and paints his tiger stripes on himself once more. Upon Morris's return, his friends are filled with renewed hope and courage. Together, they disguise themselves as baboons and make their way to Igor's cave, where his baboon guards stand watch at the entrance. Unrecognized in their disguise, Maurice and his companions easily slip inside the cave. Inside, Igor's mushroom explosives are finally gathered, but before proceeding with his plan to destroy the forest, he decides to take a nap. Seizing the opportunity, Maurice and his allies search for the hidden cave where Natasha and her companions are held captive. However, lacking the key to unlock the cage, they devise a plan to create an imprint of the key in order to free them. Meanwhile, Sari spots them and attempts to alert Igor, but he remains oblivious as he sleeps. Undeterred, Sari persists and tails them. Meanwhile, Patricia and Gilbert use the microphone to broadcast news of their arrival, igniting hope among all the animals. 
Upon learning of their presence, Igor dispatches his baboon army to capture them. However, Patricia and Gilbert swiftly neutralize the baboons one by one, preventing them from reaching their target. Seizing the moment, Patricia reveals her feelings to Gilbert, expressing her affection that she has harbored for him for a long time. Overjoyed by her confession, Gilbert reciprocates her feelings and accepts her proposal. Finally, Maurice completes the key using the imprint. But just as he is about to unlock the cage, Sari swoops in, snatching the key and fleeing. Bob and Al give chase, engaging in a fierce struggle until they retrieve the key and return it to Maurice. With the key in hand, Maurice unlocks the cage, freeing Natasha and the others. Natasha commends Maurice and his companions for their efforts. However, their victory is short-lived as the baboon army launches an attack. Undeterred, Natasha and her team easily fend them off. Witnessing their resilience, Igor initiates the chain reaction of mushroom explosives, triggering destruction throughout the jungle. If the explosion reaches the rift's center, the forest will be doomed. As the explosion sets off earthquakes in the forest, chaos ensues. Maurice, Natasha, and their companions join forces. Natasha's team sets out to rescue the captive animals, while Maurice and his friends strive to halt the chain reaction. They trace the chain reaction across the bridge, facing immense challenges along the way. However, they devise a plan. If they can isolate a mushroom explosive from the chain, they might stop the reaction. Working together, they successfully execute the plan, preventing the explosion from reaching the rift's center and saving the forest and its inhabitants. Igor arrives, vowing revenge for his thwarted plan. However, Maurice sends Junior to disrupt Igor's jetpack, causing him to plummet to the ground. Recognizing Morris's capabilities, Natasha and the other animals rejoice as they return to peaceful life in the jungle. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next one.